God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Rejoice, daughter of Zion. Behold, your God is coming to dwell in you. Alleluia. I rejoiced when I heard him say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city. Strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is, there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray. Peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces, peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Rejoice, daughter of Zion. Behold, your God is coming to dwell in you. Amen. Blessed are you, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. If the Lord does not build a house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, 
you're going later to rest. You'd hoil for the bread you eat when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly, sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them. Alleluia. favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say. A voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them. Alleluia. Blessed be God our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father, 
of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. In the first letter to the Corinthians. Just as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will come to life again, but each one in proper order, Christ the first fruits, and then at his coming all those who belong to him. Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Rejoice, for she reigns with Christ forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, 
now and forever. Amen. Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Rejoice, for she reigns with Christ forever. Let us praise God our Father, our Almighty Father, who wish that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask. O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. Kyrie eleison. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners. Salvation and peace to all. Kyrie eleison. You made Mary full of grace. Grant all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Kyrie eleison. Make your church one of one mind and one heart in love and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Kyrie eleison. Great Thanksgiving for all the different facets this summer. God may continue to bear fruit in the lives of all those whom we accompany. For all the students at SJI, Father Nathan, uh, as they continue to backpack and prepare themselves for this year, and for all the staff as well. For the community as we begin to start a new team in this Priory in Denver. For our alternates, for our future alternates, our friends and benefactors, for the school year. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Kyrie eleison. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat premium tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicur in cielo et in terra. Anem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et imite nobis debilita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris. Et ne nos inducas in tentatione, sed libera nos amalo. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, body and soul into heavenly glory, grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may marry to be shares of her glory. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters.